1721, Boston was in chaos. Smallpox was killing people left and right. No cure, no hope. But in the middle of that fear stood an enslaved African man named Onesimus. He was owned by a Puritan minister named Cotton Mather. And one day, Mather asked him if he'd ever had smallpox. Onesimus said calmly, yes and no. Confused, Mather asked what he meant. Onesimus explained that in Africa, people protected themselves from smallpox through a special procedure. They would take a small amount of pus from an infected person's wound and insert it into a small cut on a healthy person's arm. That person would get mildly sick, but then become immune for life. At the time, American doctors thought it was madness. They said it was dangerous and barbaric, but Mather believed Onesimus and convinced a few brave doctors to try it. One of them, Dr. Zabdiel Boylston, used the African method on hundreds of Bostonians, and the results shocked everyone. The death rate among those who were inoculated dropped dramatically. What Onesimus shared wasn't superstition. It was African science, knowledge passed down for generations, and that wisdom laid the foundation for what we now call vaccination, one of the greatest medical discoveries in human history. An African man's knowledge saved America and changed the world.